Hello people, in this video let us look at some drug induced renal dysfunction. That is uh, because you took some tablets okay, or some other kind of uh, medicine uh, and now the kidney has started to um, bother you. So basically there was no problem before taking this tablet so you should understand. So this is basically drug induced renal dysfunction, renal disease. Okay. So first look at the list of all these drugs. Mainly you should know NSAIDs like aspirin etc. So uh, NSAIDs is what? Non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatory drugs. Correct. So uh, all those pain medications that you take, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, um, it can be uh, naproxen, etc., uh, aspirin, ibuprofen, etc. AC inhibitors is what angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. This is used for managing what your high blood pressure. Example, ramipril, enalapril. Please remember this, okay? And then thirdly, you should know radiographic contrast media. Contrast. This word you should remember. Contrast. So when you went for a MRI or you went for some other kind of a CT, right, where they give you a contrast, right? It could be even a, 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 a angiogram, etc. So basically, there is contrast given you, which is iodinated or some other contrast. So these contrasts, people, they will cause vasoconstriction and they can lead to a, a, a kidney dysfunction. Okay? Okay. So you should know this. So this main three things you tell me, which we have told you now, uh, NSAIDs are harmful to kidney. Then you, we spoke about what um, AC inhibitors, then radiographic contrast media. Okay. So this one uh, will affect the kidney in more than one way. It By inducing intense uh, vasoconstriction, it can uh, spoil your kidney. Okay. So you should always be careful. That's why they get a consent signed by you when you go for some kind of a radiographic um, uh, uh, imaging. So you should understand that, uh, you know, it is not so simple that you sign some x-ray form no it is contrast i'm hoping that they will explain to you before giving this contrast that it is dangerous simply they will make you sign is wrong okay they should take informed consent it's not just consent they should do what informed consent that's what it means okay if they did not do that you can sue them unfortunately there is no uh, much legal help around in india then you have aminoglycosides like streptomycin gentamicin all the those names do you remember then those are antibiotics then Amphotericin is what? Antifungal, right? So I will like to remember what exactly it does also. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to um, remember. Okay, antifungals. Then paracetamol overdose. See, they are not saying paracetamol. They are saying paracetamol overdose. And remember, paracetamol does not come under NSAID. So remember, it has no inflammatory. Uh, it doesn't work against inflammation. So it is just an antipyretic and analgesic, right? Only it uh, helps in fever and um, uh, pain, right? Okay, so those three you learned. Next, we'll move to the next list. Lithium, um, you will give this for what? Bipolar, etc. Uh, cisplatin, sounds like a cancer drug. Aminoglycosides is coming again. Amphotericin, I'll remove this. Okay, then you have gold. Why will you give gold for somebody? This we'll have to check more, but looks like arthritis, etc. Penicillamine is what? Uh, D-penicillamine, that sounds like a chelating agent, right? For um, copper, copper, right? Copper chelation. Is what I'm thinking. That is deep penicillamine. Propyl theouracil, I know this is used for uh, anti thyroid, anti thyroid. But propyl theouracil also comes in liver, right? Anti, uh, it also harms the liver. So what is this drug? It harms the kidney, harms the liver, everything. Hydralazine, where do you use? Hydralazine, I've heard this so many times. Can you place it in your mind? Hydralazine, where do you use? So you use it to treat high blood pressure, hydralazine, okay? Then penicillin sounds like your uh, typical antibiotic. Then proton pump inhibitors for uh, reducing the um, uh, acid, uh, right, in your stomach, uh, peptic ulcers, etc. And many others they have written. Okay, so many others will remove that you can anyways write as filler in your exam to fill the paper. So in this uh, slide, you saw lithium, cisplatin, gold, penicillamine, propyl theouracil, hydralazine, penicillin, proton pump, in, in pump inhibitors. Then, uh, then we are going to cyclosporin. Look at the spelling, cyclosporin. Where do you use this? It is an immunosuppressant, so you will use it accordingly. Immunosuppressant. Then tacrolimus, where will you use people? Tacrolimus. Think about it and tell. That is also immunosuppressant only. Okay. Tacrolimus. This is also immunosuppressant. Okay. Then acyclovir in the name itself, antiviral. Okay. Then you can use acyclovirinol for what exactly do you use? Do you know viral conditions that you use it for? For herpes simplex, you can use. Where else will you use? Chickenpox. That's also what? Herpes only, right? So we'll go with herpes for this. 
okay then chemotherapy see chemotherapy can be either antimicrobial or anti cancer so so what <clears throat> they are referring to here is uh, tumor lysis okay so chemotherapy cancer drugs okay um, even if it is not cancer if it is benign also so they are calling it as chemotherapy to lyse some tumor etc then you have oral sodium phosphate containing bubble cleansing agents so they also are harmful it's the phosphate here which is the problem okay then uh, some ca cabergolin cabergolin why why will you give if you, the person has delivered a baby but you don't want them to have breast milk right so cabergolin that is what you will give for right so whenever they are having too much of prolactin so this can be uh, you know for many issues they can give okay one of the issues of what i know is that let us say this is stillbirth or something right so they can use this cabergolin i hope i said that right so let's take a recap of all the names of drugs the drugs that can harm your kidney okay so first thing you will say nsaids that is uh, they do prostaglandin inhibition right those drugs example aspirin etc so uh, nsaids remember these all reduce blood flow to the kidney okay this one nsaids then ac inhibitors also they will have renal hypoperfusion uh, that is uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor example ramipril enalapril which is used to treat high blood pressure so this also will cause damage to kidney then they can cause okay that's what i'm saying radiographic contrast media which is used in uh, x ray ct mri uh, for some kind of imaging um this also can cause uh, intense vasoconstriction and they can uh, also cause tubular necrosis etc and harm your kidney so mainly these three you have to remember remember lithium uh, cancer drugs that and all things standardly you will write in the exam i'm not uh, worried about that okay then uh, aminoglycosides like uh, streptomycin amphotericin etc uh, these will cause tubular toxicity remember they will damage the tubules uh, tubular necrosis they will call cause paracetamol overdose will hurt both liver and kidney remember and then uh, coming to lithium um, let me go here yeah lithium also it will uh, harm your uh, uh, tubules and it is it's kind of a direct toxic thing okay this lithium and uh, then cisplatin uh, also will affect your uh, tubules etc uh, then gold also it will cause glomerulonephritis membrane nephropathy etc penicillamine uh, again glomerulonephritis etc propyl thioracil which is anti thyroid drug hydralazine which is used for hypertension all of these also glomerular nephritis vasculitis etc then um uh, there is something here called as anca what is this this anca word is in, important anca is anti neutrophil cytoplasmic antibody this one okay so this one um uh, this propyl thiouracil and hydralazine remember it is causing some glomerular nephritis for now you remember that much penicillins and proton pump inhibitors also some nephritis okay then uh, cyclosporin tacrolimus uh, which are immunosuppressants these also will called nef cause some nephritis acyclovir which is antiviral which will cause crystal forming in the tubules of your kidney remember then chemotherapy uh like we told you tumor lysis and all if it happens again it will form form some uric acid crystals in your kidney and it will spoil your kidney remember sodium phosphate containing bubble cleansing agents this will cause precipitation of calcium phosphate and cause nephrocalcinosis again some kind of a, um this is a stone kind of thing so kidney stones kind of a thing okay Uh, another thing you know when i was working uh, with orthopedics what they told was you should always give calcium in the morning because that time the person will take more water so it will not cause uh, uh, kidney stones so calcium could be better taken in the morning and with lot of water then coming to cabergolin it will cause retroperitoneal fibrosis say it retroperitoneal fibrosis fibrosis is because of this cabergolin the only that cabergolin is they have used this fibrosis word okay so um, they didn't talk about the kidney though retroperitoneal is it kidney i know the kidney is a retroperitoneal organ but they didn't say about the kidney okay um so these are all the drugs we have looked at all the causes also in a high level if they ask in the exam you will say that yes it will reduce the blood flow to the kidney then it will affect the tubules uh, then there is some necrosis word you use nephritis word you use okay then fibrosis word you use calcinosis crystals cal calcaneus all these kind of things you use okay in the in the uh, exam okay that's all now drug induced renal disease dysfunction done bye bye